This leap forward doesn't just signify progress in the detection of dark matter. It signals the dawn of a completely new scientific frontier. Quantum computing, once considered a theoretical curiosity, has evolved into an instrument powerful enough to interrogate the very scaffolding of the cosmos. As Intel and its research collaborators continue to refine this technology, we stand on the threshold of transforming our understanding not just of dark matter, but of the hidden architecture that governs the entire universe. The partnership between cutting-edge hardware and quantum algorithms lies at the heart of this transformation. These systems are now sensitive enough to register not just the physical passage of dark matter particles, but the tiny, intricate perturbations they cause within quantum fields. Each detection event is not merely a data point. It's a direct glimpse into an unseen dimension of physical reality. With continued refinements, these processors may soon operate with such precision that they'll be able to detect not only WIMPs, but other speculative particles hypothesized in advanced physics. Particles that up until now we could only model in theory. This reorientation from direct detection to field interaction is akin to switching from trying to see wind by watching leaves to mapping its patterns through high-speed particle imaging. The analogy fits. Dark matter, like wind, is invisible to the naked eye, but its influence is undeniable. Galaxy rotation curves, gravitational lensing, and the large-scale structure of the universe all point to dark matter's presence. Yet, with this quantum leap, we are beginning to observe it not by the chaos it leaves behind, but by its direct, traceable imprint on the quantum scale. Importantly, these discoveries come with an entirely new methodology of verification. Because quantum systems can produce measurable, reproducible effects, the results can be replicated across independent laboratories. Early tests are already underway at leading institutions, with results pending formal publication. If validated, this would not only represent the first direct detection of dark matter, it would stand as one of the most significant confirmations in modern scientific history. The potential applications extend even further. With satellite-based quantum sensors in development through partnerships with agencies like NASA, it may soon be possible to create dynamic, three-dimensional maps of dark matter distribution across the observable universe. These maps could provide insights into how galaxies form, evolve, and cluster, offering answers to long-standing cosmic puzzles and posing entirely new questions in return. But the ramifications don't stop at astrophysics. The same technology now being used to detect quantum-level field disturbances from dark matter could be repurposed to explore the mysterious quantum forces underlying gravity itself. Some theorists suggest that if these systems are refined further, they may be able to detect the hypothesized graviton, a quantum particle responsible for gravitational interaction, long thought to be undetectable. If proven, this would unify the last great chasm in physics, the divide between quantum mechanics and general relativity. In the process, we may also gain insights into the earliest moments of the universe's birth. Quantum disturbances caused by dark matter interactions might provide clues about what happened fractions of a second after the Big Bang perhaps even revealing whether dark matter played an active role in the universe's inflation, expansion, and matter distribution. Already, cosmologists are revisiting inflationary models in light of these findings, integrating new data about quantum dark matter behavior into simulations of early cosmic evolution. As the field evolves, so too does the scope of interdisciplinary collaboration. Teams comprising particle physicists, quantum engineers, Cosmologists and computer scientists are now working together, breaking down academic silos that once separated their fields. This convergence is no accident. Quantum computing's implications are simply too vast for any one discipline to handle alone. Intel's next-generation quantum systems are being designed with these expanded goals in mind. These processors won't just search for WIMPs. They'll be programmed to scan for a multitude of exotic particles and field fluctuations each with unique quantum fingerprints. What's revolutionary is how these algorithms evolve over time, becoming more adept at distinguishing signal from noise, much like how early radar systems were trained to distinguish birds from aircraft. All of this is accelerating quickly. Prototypes of next-gen detection units are already being tested in low-Earth orbit environments, simulating space-based detection conditions. These efforts aim to bypass Earth's atmospheric interference altogether, further increasing sensitivity and accuracy. Space-borne quantum systems could eventually act as a real-time observatory for dark matter interactions, 
logging and analyzing events across cosmic distances. The scientific world is now asking, if dark matter can be detected this way, could it also be manipulated? Could its quantum properties be harnessed, even in the most speculative sense, for energy production, propulsion, or data transfer? These are bold, currently unanswerable questions. But in a field that just overturned four decades of failure with a system running on less power than your kitchen light bulb, impossible is beginning to lose its meaning. It did what decades of traditional science could not, providing hard evidence of dark matter particles through the ripples they leave behind in quantum systems. This isn't about finding a needle in a haystack. It's about redefining the way we search for the needle altogether. A quantum system that captures theoretical WIMP signatures, runs at room temperature, and requires only household-level power has now shown us that dark matter may interact with normal matter via entanglement in ways we never even predicted. It's reshaping our understanding of galaxy formation, appending the standard model, and pushing us toward a unified theory of physics. As companies like Intel scale up their quantum processors, potentially reaching systems with hundreds of specialized qubits, we may soon be capable of mapping the dark matter architecture of the cosmos in fine detail. For the first time, we're not just theorizing about the 85% of the universe that has remained invisible, we're finally starting to interact with it. This leap forward doesn't just signify progress in the detection of dark matter. It signals the dawn of a completely new scientific frontier. Quantum computing, once considered a theoretical curiosity, has evolved into an instrument powerful enough to interrogate the very scaffolding of the cosmos. As Intel and its research collaborators continue to refine this technology, we stand on the threshold of transforming our understanding not just of dark matter, but of the hidden architecture that governs the entire universe. The partnership between cutting-edge hardware and quantum algorithms lies at the heart of this transformation. These systems are now sensitive enough to register not just the physical passage of dark matter particles, but the tiny, intricate perturbations they cause within quantum fields. Each detection event is not merely a data point. It's a direct glimpse into an unseen dimension of physical reality. With continued refinements, these processors may soon operate with such precision that they'll be able to detect not only WIMPs, but other speculative particles hypothesized in advanced physics. Particles that up until now we could only model in theory. This reorientation from direct detection to field interaction is akin to switching from trying to see wind by watching leaves to mapping its patterns through high-speed particle imaging. The analogy fits. Dark matter, like wind, is invisible to the naked eye, but its influence is undeniable. Galaxy rotation curves, gravitational lensing, and the large-scale structure of the universe all point to dark matter's presence. Yet, with this quantum leap, we are beginning to observe it not by the chaos it leaves behind, but by its direct, traceable imprint on the quantum scale. Importantly, these discoveries come with an entirely new methodology of verification. Because quantum systems can produce measurable, reproducible effects, the results can be replicated across independent laboratories. Early tests are already underway at leading institutions, with results pending formal publication. If validated, this would not only represent the first direct detection of dark matter, it would stand as one of the most significant confirmations in modern scientific history. The potential applications extend even further. With satellite-based quantum sensors in development through partnerships with agencies like NASA, it may soon be possible to create dynamic, three-dimensional maps of dark matter distribution across the observable universe. These maps could provide insights into how galaxies form, evolve, and cluster, offering answers to long-standing cosmic puzzles and posing entirely new questions in return. But the ramifications don't stop at astrophysics. The same technology now being used to detect quantum-level field disturbances from dark matter could be repurposed to explore the mysterious quantum forces underlying gravity itself. Some theorists suggest that if these systems are refined further, they may be able to detect the hypothesized graviton, a quantum particle responsible for gravitational interaction, long thought to be undetectable. If proven, this would unify the last great chasm in physics, the divide between quantum mechanics and general relativity. In the process, we may also gain insights into the earliest moments of the universe's birth. Quantum disturbances caused by dark matter interactions might provide clues about what happened fractions of a second after the Big Bang, perhaps even revealing whether dark matter played an active role in the universe's inflation, expansion, 
and matter distribution. Already, cosmologists are revisiting inflationary models in light of these findings, integrating new data about quantum dark matter behavior into simulations of early cosmic evolution. As the field evolves, so too does the scope of interdisciplinary collaboration. Teams comprising particle physicists, quantum engineers, cosmologists, and computer scientists are now working together, breaking down academic silos that once separated their fields. This convergence is no accident. Quantum computing's implications are simply too vast for any one discipline to handle alone. Intel's next-generation quantum systems are being designed with these expanded goals in mind. These processors won't just search for WIMPs. They'll be programmed to scan for a multitude of exotic particles and field fluctuations, each with unique quantum fingerprints. What's revolutionary is how these algorithms evolve over time, becoming more adept at distinguishing signal from noise, much like how early radar systems were trained to distinguish birds from aircraft. All of this is accelerating quickly. Prototypes of next-gen detection units are already being tested in low-Earth orbit environments, simulating space-based detection conditions. These efforts aim to bypass Earth's atmospheric interference altogether, further increasing sensitivity and accuracy. Space-borne quantum systems could eventually act as a real-time observatory for dark matter interactions, logging and analyzing events across cosmic distances. The scientific world is now asking, if dark matter can be detected this way, could it also be manipulated? Could its quantum properties be harnessed, even in the most speculative sense, for energy production, propulsion, or data transfer? These are bold, currently unanswerable questions. But in a field that just overturned four decades of failure with a system running on less power than your kitchen light bulb, impossible is beginning to lose its meaning. Shall I keep going? You said, go on. ChatGPT said, the notion that dark matter could be more than a passive cosmic backdrop is now gaining serious scientific traction. With new evidence pointing toward active quantum behaviors, researchers are beginning to treat dark matter not merely as a gravitational glue, but as a dynamic player in the evolution of the universe. If it indeed interacts with the quantum field in structured, measurable ways, then dark matter may be part of a deeper layer of physical law, one that's been hiding in plain sight. Some physicists are already exploring whether dark matter could be a form of matter embedded in higher dimensional space, only perceptible through its effects on quantum systems. This concept aligns with certain string theory and brain world hypotheses, where our observable universe is just a 3D slice of a higher dimensional reality. The recent quantum detections could represent the first empirical hint that such dimensions exist not by directly seeing them, but by observing how particles behave as though influenced by forces beyond the standard four-dimensional framework. Such interpretations aren't fringe anymore. The combination of quantum sensitivity and machine learning-enhanced analysis is providing resolution levels that were once thought impossible. Advanced quantum algorithms are being trained not just to recognize known patterns, but to discover entirely new ones, anomaly signatures that don't align with WIMP models, axions, or neutrinos. These unknown unknowns are being treated seriously as potential evidence of physics we haven't yet theorized. And this brings up an even more profound idea. What if quantum computers aren't just tools for detecting dark matter, but instruments for discovering laws of nature we haven't written yet? Traditional experimental setups test theories. These new systems could generate them. The data they provide, rich with patterns, anomalies, and correlations, might contain the raw material for future theoretical frameworks. We're no longer confined to confirming what we expect to find. Now, we can ask, what is the universe trying to tell us, and do we even have the vocabulary yet to describe it? This paradigm shift is having ripple effects beyond the lab. Academic institutions are revamping curricula to integrate quantum information science directly into astrophysics, recognizing that future discoveries will be born at the intersection of both. Private tech companies, national space agencies, and global scientific consortiums are forming joint initiatives to accelerate development, pooling quantum infrastructure and cosmic observation data to build a unified dark matter detection network, an internet of quantum telescopes, if you will. In parallel, ethics boards and policymakers are beginning to grapple with the implications of this power. The ability to perceive and potentially influence the hidden 85% of the universe invites philosophical and existential questions. If dark matter responds to quantum systems, 
could advanced civilizations, hypothetically, have used such interactions long before us? Is our current leap forward merely rediscovering ancient principles embedded in the cosmos? As we stand on the frontier of these discoveries, the goals are expanding. Detection was the first step. Now, scientists aim to map, classify, and perhaps even harness the properties of dark matter in practical ways. Quantum-enhanced navigation systems that adjust for dark matter density variations. Communications technologies that use quantum field disturbances as signal mediums. Energy systems that tap into the fluctuations of the dark field. Concepts once relegated to science fiction are now being modeled on lab whiteboards. And at the core of all this is one astounding truth. For the first time, we are engaging directly with the invisible infrastructure of the universe. We're not theorizing from the outside, we're interfacing from within. Each ripple detected by a qubit isn't just an observation. It's a handshake across the void, a signal that the dark, silent majority of the cosmos is not only present, it's responsive. What began as a decades-long search driven by traditional physics has now been transformed by quantum innovation into something far more profound. Contact. The once invisible matter that silently shapes galaxies, governs gravity, and outweighs the known universe five to one, has finally revealed its subtle presence. Not through brute force collisions in shielded chambers, but through delicate whispers in the quantum realm. Intel's room temperature quantum processor, operating with a fraction of the energy used by traditional methods, has shifted the conversation from theoretical speculation to verifiable interaction. It has appended conventional wisdom, disproven the idea that dark matter must be passively observed, and rewritten the methodology of detection entirely. We now know that dark matter interacts with quantum fields, that it leaves a detectable wake in its passage, and most astonishingly, that it may exhibit properties beyond any current particle classification. This is not just a leap for particle physics. It's a structural redefinition of the cosmos. We are seeing the outlines of a new standard model, one not built solely on what we can collide, but on what we can entangle, trace, and infer from the quantum fabric of reality. The consequences will ripple outward, from astrophysics to medical imaging, from climate prediction to material science, from our understanding of time and space to the formation of galaxies themselves. We now have the tools, the frameworks, and, perhaps most importantly, the questions. We're not just peering into the dark. We're beginning to illuminate it. In doing so, we're changing our role in the universe, from observers of its mysteries to participants in its most fundamental interactions. And that, perhaps, is the most revolutionary idea of all.